Hey, it's Riley, and we're gonna get into the video about my first blood draw. So the situation kind of went down. I arrived for my appointment. Um, my appointment was at 3.15. I go in a little bit early. They go, your name's Riley, and I say, yeah. Um, they start asking me questions, and they say, like, a totally different birthday than mine. So I, you know, I said, you know, it's not my birthday. My birthday is December 29th. Don't know where you're getting that other one from. And I guess somebody was scheduled for 3 p.m. with the same name as me for the same treatment. Uh, ridiculous. <laughs> but they were able to just put me in at that time anyways. So the first questions they started asking was about pre-existing conditions, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in my first video, but one of the things I'm concerned about is my cholesterol. Uh, I really care about my heart health and my general body health as well as uh, caring about my red blood cells, which can sometimes elevate when you're on testosterone. And they said that's why they're actually doing the blood work is to monitor that, which definitely makes sense, but I have to worry about it anyways. <laughs> Sorry for talking really fast. I notice I do that sometimes. I'm working on it. <laughs> So the next thing that we talked about was my goal for transitioning, uh, and my goal is to pass as a man. That's always, in some ways, been the goal. Like, the dream was to pass as a man, but not necessarily the thing I was striving for my entire life, if that makes sense. So a lot of it does have to do with social passing, as well as, you know, needing to personally pass. As I said, I've been feeling this way since I was a kid, so. Uh, after we talked about my goal and why that was my goal and the different things I want, like more arm hair or muscles and a deeper voice, uh, she said that it was time for the blood draw. Uh, I'm super awkward. I told her I was a bleeder and she was like, oh, okay. And then I started bleeding from the shot, which was very cool. Well, it wasn't a shot. It was the injection. I have like a pretty gnarly bruise from it. It's rough. <laughs> uh, I usually don't bruise, I donate plasma, and so I thought that I wasn't going to bruise, but then I did, so... I don't know. <laughs> After that, the doctor came in, and the doctor pretty much asked me the same questions. I answered them pretty much the same way, and then she told me to go schedule my appointment. I was like, oh, hot damn! That's glam! I'm so excited about this. So I went, scheduled my appointment for two weeks, so it'll be... One week and four days from when I'm making this video right now, uh, and I find out. So, after all of that, I went back to work and I was talking to one of my coworkers, and I was like, you know what? I think I'm ready that I want people to start calling me he. I want to start doing, I want it to be happening now. Like, it's a reality for me now, and I want it to be a reality for everybody else, and I'm just ready to live in my truly authentic self. little button that says he him and we wear pronoun buttons at work we have pronouns in our emails we're really open about that kind of thing at work and so i told a couple co-workers that you can call me he and that if anybody asks just tell them riley's transitioning from female to male um, that's just what's happening and try to give them some language to tell people if they ask uh, i have a really supportive clientele very supportive co-workers very supportive like supervisors it is fantastic where I work, um, and so I thought it was time to just come out. Uh, I haven't fully come out, I've been kind of slowly coming out. I'd rather it be like that than some big thing, because I sometimes feel like I get put in these roles about gender, which I put myself there most of the time, because I love talking about gender and things like that, but I just want mine to be smooth and just accepted and normal and as casual as Oh, Riley changed their hair, which, like, I know it's not as casual as that. It's very serious. Um, but it's serious for me. I don't want it to be serious for other people. <laughs> uh, I just want them to be like, okay, yeah, we're gonna use he now. Let's do this. Um, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I plan to continue vlogging. Sorry that my videos are so short. I do one day want to do, like, 10-minute videos, but until then, you get this. <laughs> uh, have a great day. I don't know when I'll upload this, I hope soon. And I love your faces, Philip DeFranco? I don't know. One day we'll have some sort of outro. Yeah. Uh, uh. One day we'll have some sort of outro. 
and it will sound good and I won't sound weird. Uh, but until then, goodbye. I love you.